Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and salam Malaysia Madani. Today, I am going to describe the revised STPM examination syllabus biology 964. AIMS. The biology syllabus aims to enhance candidate knowledge and understanding of biology and biological issues to prepare and equip candidate for their tertiary education, to pursue careers in related field and to promote continuous awareness of the importance of biology in life. Objective. The objective of the syllabus are to enable candidates to A. Understand the biological phenomena, principles and theories. B. Evaluate biological information critically and deduce logical conclusion. C. Create interest and appreciation of the nature and diversity of organism. D. Plan and carry out experiment based on scientific investigation processes. E. Develop abilities and skill in handling material and apparatus correctly and safely. And F. Cultivate proper attitude and values on social, technological and environmental issues in biology. Scheme of assessment, semester one, code and name of paper, 964-1, biology paper one. The type of test is a written test. It consists of three sections, which is section A, section B, and section C. Section A consists of 20 multiple choice questions, which carries 20 marks. Section B consists of two structured questions, which carries 14 marks. Section C consists of two essay questions, which carries 26 marks. The candidates must answer all the questions. The total marks for this paper is 60 marks, which carry 26.67%. The duration for this paper is 1.5 hours. The format of the written test is the same throughout the three semesters. The examination of semester 1, semester 2 and semester 3 will be centrally assessed by MPM. Next is biology paper 4. This paper is a coursework. This coursework consists of 15 experiments that should be done throughout the three semesters, five experiments for each semester. Each experiment is carry 15 marks. The total marks for this paper is 225 marks, which is equivalent to 20%. This coursework will be assessed by the subject teacher. Next is Biology Paper 5. This paper is for private candidates who are not taking coursework. The candidate have to take Biology Paper 5, which is the written practical test. This paper is to be taken in Semester 3. Paper 5 consists of three structured questions. The total mark for this paper is 45 marks, which will be scaled to 20%. The duration for this paper is 1.5 hours, which will be centrally assessed by MPM. Next is the content of this syllabus for semester 1. Topic 1, Molecule of Life, 1.1 Water, 1.2 Carbohydrate, 1.3 Lipids, 1.4 Proteins. Topic 2, Introduction to Molecular Genetics, 2.1 Nucleic Acid, 2.2 DNA Replication, 2.3 Gene Expression. Topic 3, Structure of Cell and Organelles, 3.1 Prokaryotic and Eukaryotic Cell, 3.2 Cellular Components, 3.3 Specialized Cell. Topic 4, Membrane Structure and Transport, 4.1 Fluid Mosaic Model, 4.2 Movement of Substance Across Membrane. Topic 5, Enzyme, 5.1 
Catalysis and Activation Energy, 5.2 Mechanism of Action, 5.3 Enzyme Inhibition, 5.4 Classification of Enzyme, 5.5 Enzyme Technology. Topic 6 Cellular Respiration, 6.1 The Need for Energy in Living Organism, 6.2 Aerobic Respiration, 6.3 Anaerobic Respiration. Topic 7, Photosynthesis, 7.1, Like-Dependent Reaction, 7.2, Like-Independent Reaction, 7.3, Factors Affecting Photosynthesis. The Content of the Syllabus for Semester 2, Topic 8, Gas Exchange, 8.1, Gases Exchange in Human, 8.2, Breathing Cycle, 8.3, Gases Exchange in Plants, Topic 9, Transport in Animal and Plant. 9.1, Transport System in Human. 9.2, Transport System in Vascular Plants. Topic 10, Control and Regulation. 10.1, Nervous System. 10.2, Hormone. Topic 11, Reproduction, Development and Growth. 11.1, Sexual Reproduction in Human. 11.2 Reproduction in Flowering Plants 11.3 Seed Germination 11.4 Growth Topic 12 Homeostasis 12.1 Importance of Homeostasis 12.2 Liver 12.3 Osmoregulation in Mammal 12.4 Osmoregulation in Plants Topic 13 Immunity 13.1 Immune System, 13.2 Development of Immunity, 13.3 Concept of Self and Non-Self, 13.4 Immune Disorder. Topic 14, Infectious Disease, 14.1 Infectious Disease, 14.2 Dengue, 14.3 Cholera, 14.4 Tuberculosis, TB, 14.5 Malaria, 14.6 Hand Food and Mouse Disease, FFMD. The content of the syllabus for semester 3, topic 15, taxonomy and biodiversity. 15.1, taxonomy. 15.2, diversity of organism. 15.3, biodiversity and its importance. 15.4, conservation of biodiversity and sustainable development. Topic 16, ecology. 16.1 level of ecological organization 16.2 biogeochemical cycle 16.3 energy flow 16.4 quantitative ecology 16.5 population ecology topic 17 inheritance and genetic control 17.1 types of genetic crosses and breeding system 17.2 non-benelian inheritance 17.3 Genetic Mapping 17.4 Population Genetics 17.5 Regulation of Gene Expression 17.6 Mutation 17.7 Recombinant DNA Technology Topic 18 Selection and Speciation 18.1 Natural and Artificial Selection 18.2 Speciation Next is the objective of the coursework the objective of the coursework are to enable candidates to A. Carry out experiment to enhance practical skill according to standard safety procedures ethically. B. Manipulate, measure, observe, present data, record observation, analysis, draw conclusion and evaluate with integrity. C. Inculcate independent, teamwork spirit, scientific attitude, and critical thinking among candidates. For coursework, in the semester one, the candidate will conduct five experiments, which are measurement of cell size using microscope, preparation and observation of slime of animal and plant cell, effect of temperature on enzymatic activity, respiration in plant, separation of photosynthetic pigment using paper chromatography. In the semester two, the candidate will conduct 
five experiments which are preparation and observation of leaf epidermal peel, dissection of mammalian respiratory system, dissection of mammalian blood circulatory system, dissection of mammalian urogenital system, observation of kidney, liver, and pancreas of mammal on prepared slide. In the semester three, the candidates will conduct five experiments, which are classification of organism, collection of insect and plant specimen, ecology of terrestrial habitat, Mendelian inheritance, Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. For written practical tests, the candidate should have sufficient knowledge on A. Structure of specimen and record them accurately in writing or illustration. B. Morphological and anatomical features and relate to function of specimen as a basis for their classification. C. Dissection of specimen and illustration of the result of red. D. Staining and mounting specimen for microscopic examination. E. Identification and illustration of the specimen as observed under microscope. F. Biochemical, physiological, and genetic experiment. G. Sampling for ecological studies. H. Interpreting, evaluating, drawing conclusion from experimental data. I. Using theories to explain the result of experiment and performing simple calculation based on experiment. I hope the explanation will help to boost teachers and candidate understanding of the revised STPM examination syllabus. Thank you and all the best.